Well, hello, YouTube. West Coast Scrapper RN here. I know a long time no see or hear. Um, been really busy. Have had some surgeries. So that's why I haven't been around. Um, so this video, I just wanted to show what I've done with, um, this is one of the Stickles carousels from Sawcrafter. And I told her that as soon as I was done with it, I would make a video about it. So I'm just going to real quick show you what I did to it. Um, basically, if, those of you that don't know, it's MDF board. And it comes raw. And so I painted it with, let's see, what did I paint this one with? I did it a couple of different things. First of all, I used... I think it was, yeah, it was this one. I used this folk art, what color is this? Linen. I used folk art linen, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> so then I went ahead and after I got all the pieces painted, I didn't like the color of it, so what I did was, and I had already mounted um, these pieces of paper on it, and this paper line is the princess paper line from Prima, and I just used corners of some of the 4 by 4s because I love the little princesses. I think they're so cute, and I wanted it to be kind of girly. Let me get you in the light over here. So I just shabbied them up, and I didn't go all the way to the edge because I wanted it to have kind of a shabby rustic you know, feel to it. So I just shabbied the edges of them and, and distressed the edges and glued those on there after I got this little square part glued together. And so I didn't like the color. And so what I ended up doing was I did a, a pink wash. Instead of a white wash, I did a pink wash. And I used this color, which is light portrait pink. From Liquitex and I just watered it down and I took a sponge brush and I sponged over it and I just kind of gave it a light pink wash so the whole thing is kind of pink washed um, and so then I just got my I am roses out and I just started kind of putting some roses on here let me see if I can get my camera to focus I'm using my new smartphone so hopefully it'll focus a little better than my old camera so you can see I've just put some I am roses in there just kind of sporadically around and I've got one of those little this little heart right here this tiny little heart is where did I get this gosh you guys I don't even remember I'm gonna have to look because I just cannot remember where I got this from and I'm very sorry that I don't remember it may be I am roses but I don't think it is but I will find out if you guys want to know. I got a whole bunch of stuff like this and I just can't remember without looking back in all of my paperwork where I got them because I don't tend to write stuff down much. <laughs> I'm terrible about that. So anyway, I pink washed everything and I just hot glued a bunch of flowers. Get this here. A bunch of I Am Roses flowers on it. On the base. Just kind of here and there. And then on the top, I did a couple of different layers of flowers. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. So there's another one of those little pearl hearts and some stamens and some different colored flowers. And then this is a, oh my gosh, I'm totally gapping on who this is. This is Melissa Francis. It's a little Melissa Francis key, one of the resin keys. And then over here, I used one of Sawcraft. I love this. One of her little hearts with the arrow through it. And I don't know if I can get this to focus. Let me see if I can zoom in and let it focus a little bit. There. So what I did here was I just painted it white with some gesso and I dabbed a pink ink I just kind of dabbed pink ink on it just to give it a little shabbiness so 
let me zoom out. This is an I Am Roses flower. I think it's like one of the uh, 30 millimeter flowers. And some little rose buds. And then these little flowers right here, I had had down here, as you can see, there's some down here. The little yellow with the pink tips. Those are the little ones. I didn't have any more. I used them all. And so what I did was I got my... I just got my white I am roses flowers out, same the same roses, and I took some yellow paint and watered it down. And the paint color I used for this one was this one is lemonade. I think I used I use lemonade. Yep, lemonade. And I watered it down, pretty watery, and I just dabbed the flowers with a paintbrush. And got them all kind of yellowy and then I took them when they were dry and I just tipped them just on the edges with the same pink ink um, that I used for the little heart over here and made my own so I think those came out really cute that's why I like to buy all the um, when I buy flowers I typically buy white because I can tint them whatever color I want either with paint or with um, any of my mists you know my Lindy's Stamp Gang Mists or whatever. So this is, I'm going to zoom back out here. So this is how it turned out and I think it's really cute. It's kind of shabby. It's kind of girly and then I haven't put any of them. But this is how the stickles, they just, um, and this is great because I am terrible about storing my stickles upside down and this is what happens when you don't store them upside down. They get that big air bubble and you have to, you know, get them back down to the and so this way, storing them, storing them that way, that's what this is for. So there's my little stickle carousel, and I'm super happy with it. And Saw, thank you very much. I told you I'd make this video for you, and this is how my little, my little carousel turned out. I just think it's super cute, and I'm going to put it right here next to my desk. I already made a spot for it. So that's it for now. I'm going to make another video and tell everybody where I've been and what's going on because I have made some changes in my scrapbook room. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, or no surprise. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, keep calm and scrap on.